We're bringing two of the coolest things together, Legos and animals, over 40 different statues here at the Brookfield Zoo. You can find them tomorrow when the exhibit opens. It's the first time the exhibit's been in North America. Pretty cool thing here. I'm here with Andre Copeland to talk some more about it. Man, this is awesome. How many different animals are around here? Well, we've got over 40 animals represented here in the Brick Safari exhibit. And we have to thank our friends from Metro by T-Mobile because they helped us bring to our guests what creative minds can do with over 1.6 million brightly colored Lego bricks. Oh, my gosh. And we saw, got some great examples here of what this looks like. This tiger here, it's a, a moor tiger. Look at that attention to detail. That is absolutely beautiful. What kind of other animals you got? Well, we have a giant panda here, of course. Of course, we have the king of the jungle, the lion, we have an elephant, and we've got some of those lesser seen animals such as the pangolin. So when people come here, they can literally go on a brick safari right here at Brookfield Zoo. Really colorful, really interactive, and uh, really cool to see. This exhibit also, it appeals to science and art lovers as well, right? Definitely so, because we wanted to help people understand our belief in putting the A into STEM education, making it STEAM education. Mm. Because when you think about technological and scientific advancements, artistic creativity has helped launch these advancements to make the world what we see today. I so. love that. That's awesome. We're marveling at the attention to detail of these structures here. How cool is this? This is very cool. Yeah. I am really excited to be able to have this experience at Brookfield Zoo with the help of our friends Metro by T-Mobile. And people can come here and see some of those intricate patterns that you were talking about mm. as they take a look at animals such as the Mako shark that we just saw yeah. and some of those that we're about to see. Yeah, we're looking at the shark right now behind us. It is a Mako shark. Look at how it almost looks real. It can scare you a little bit. 80,000 bricks it took to make this, uh, 1,146 pounds, and it took them 282 hours to put this all together. Now, this is going to be a great event for families, too, especially with Mother's Day coming up, right? Definitely so. It's going to be a great event for families because people are going to be able to see animals that reside here at the zoo in the Brick Safari exhibit, also animals that we don't have here living at the zoo, such as the platypus. And we're hoping that people come in here and they start to think about the concept that science and art are actually the same things. Mm. Although they will have different audiences, the intent is pretty much the same. Scientists and artists attempt to use their vocations to describe the natural world, whether they're trying to help people understand what something means, what something is, or how a process works. They will actually use some of the same things when they combine art and science together to help us understand such things as why lions roar or what an animal means to its environment. So we're hoping people come here and think about that as they see these beautiful sculptures. Beautiful indeed. I, it looks real. I am just marveling at that. You can come check it out for yourself this Saturday at the Brookfield Zoo. Tickets is $5 for adults, $3 for kids. Should it be an awesome event.